Hi, GIM 2.10 was released more than two weeks ago. If you don't have it yet, you can go to the official website GIM.org and download it. I always include the link in the description. Once you download it and install it, it should look like this. And maybe you'll notice that uh, the interface looks a little bit different. It starts with a dark theme. Also, the icons are with new design and smaller. So, I decided that before covering any of the new features, I'll show you how to adjust the interface. And to do this, we go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and these are the two tabs that we need to focus on, the Theme tab and the Icon theme, both located in the interface. So, if you don't have this expanded, if you have it like this, just click here to expand it and then we can see the Theme and the Icon theme tabs. Here you can see all your different themes. This one is a theme that I use for GIMP 2.8, so you may not have this, but the rest you should have. By default, we have the dark theme, and then we have some lighter themes. For example, if you choose the light theme here, notice how the icons don't look so good. This is because this is not adjusted. We need to go to the icon theme, and here, as you can see, we have the symbolic inverted. So this symbolic icon theme is the new theme with this new icon design. And if we invert it, they will become darker and will fit with this new uh, lighter theme. The other two icon themes that you have are the color, which is again the symbolic, but with color. It's pretty much the same design. If I switch between them, you can see that the design is pretty much the same, but these are colored and then you have the legacy which are the uh, old style of the icons so if you prefer this if you are used to this you can switch back to it from here now let's go back to the symbolic here and check out the icon size from resolution this is actually where we can adjust the icon size because these are too small if it depends on your a monitor resolution mine for example is 1080p if you have even a bigger resolution these may become even smaller so a good idea is maybe to choose the uh, use icon size from theme and you can see these become uh, became larger and if i'm going to be using this theme i'll choose maybe the symbolic inverted plus this size and now you can see better the icons you can make the icons even larger if you choose this option here custom size then we can go ahead and you can see the medium you can see the large you can see there is huge also i don't think anybody really needs this but it's here if you need it i think the medium size is pretty uh, good especially for me if i'm going to be recording my monitor for tutorials it's better if they're a little bit bigger so you can see what i'm clicking on so I, for example, am going to be using the dark theme and then for the icon theme, I'm going to choose this symbolic so I can see the icons and custom size medium. This is going to work fine for me. I'm going to try this new design. It's supposed to not take away your attention from the image because the coward uh, theme icons may take away your attention from the image so I'm going to try this new thing with this size with this theme because it's easier on the eyes it's your decision which one uh, you want to choose so that's it for this video I hope it was useful if it was make sure to like it subscribe for more that's it for this one bye for now